Hello microbit friends, what is the first accessory you must buy for your microbit? There is some debate over this, some think it's a battery box or a soundboard, however we think the first thing you must buy is an expansion board. Today we are reviewing the Kittenbot IOBit version 2 expansion board for the BBC microbit. This expansion board is incredibly small but despite its size, all I.O. ports are extracted for your use. One of the biggest bugbears of the microbit is the difficulty in connecting audio. There was no onboard sounder or 3.5mm jack for connecting headphones. Problem solved with the I.O. bit version 2. In fact, you split up for choice with a selectable onboard buzzer and 3.5mm headphone jack as well as the P0 edge connector. You can power the expansion board direct from the USB connector, however do take note you cannot use this to connect and download code from your computer. For mounting there are two LEGO compatible holes which you could also use for fixed standoff mounting. There is a 1 amp self recovery fuse to protect against shorts, do remember though that there are no output drivers so give thought about current requirements of anything that you connect externally to the I.O. pins. The Kittenbot product page points out that pins 19 and 20 cannot be read and written as ordinary I.O. ports because the microbit bottom is dead. We think Kittenbot means you cannot use the I2C pins for anything else because of existing peripherals connected on the microbit board. The things we like about the IOBit version 2 are the compact size is unobtrusive and perfect for any project. Some expansion boards are just way too big. You can still access the reset button and all the plug terminals are replicated. Onboard sound, USB power is great. So what's our verdict on the Kittenbot IOBit version 2? We rate this microbit accessory as a firm 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching, we hope you liked the video and we look forward to you watching our next video soon. Until next time, goodbye.